Welcome back, Crypto Trend Trader here with a quick uh, Bitcoin update. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you it's not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. These markets are extremely volatile, so please trade responsibly. Uh, this is a four hour chart right now, uh, Coinbase, and we have the uh, parabolic SAR with binary pivots indicator up on here right now. And as we can see, basically just looking at the SAR itself, we're in this downtrend. Uh, we were trying to push up a couple times. We're consolidating. We're above all the major moving averages right now. Up until the 4-hour, we started closing below the 10. And now the 21, we bounced it once. We came down actually to 377, bounced that. Uh, but now we're actually getting like the, it looks like we're about to fail right now through the 21. Uh, this is not going to close for about two more hours. But if we close below the 21 right here, uh, I'm expecting us basically to come down and get the test of about that 88 probably about 88.75 uh, 88.75 is going to be the 50 moving average if that fails we come down we have the 200 the 89 and the 55 simple all at 86 so 89 is our first spot 88.75 then 86 if 86 fails, which I know will bounce that, um, the 200 exponential is coming in at about 8300. So that's our targets right now. 8875, 86, 83. Um, we're going to keep our eye on this. Remember this uh, indicator is available for free on TradingView. Keep in mind also this one here, the TJD uh, Jewel. Um, you know, you see all through the bottom here, that accumulation zone. Hard buy signal. And then what happened? You see the MACD, TD MACD. Turns green all through here. Flashes blue. Right here, flashes blue. Then what happens? we're right about to lose we're underneath right now so we're right about to lose this so we'll see what happens here it looks like we're getting ready to trend down here and start test a couple of these uh, moving averages um, you know we'll at least see bounces at first but if we don't find support you know we could bark back down here test these 200s but I'd like to see us bounce at least I mean at least bounce this this 88 89 area I'd like to see that bounce at least a little bit but we'll see what happens I mean we basically just have to see how this plays out there's definitely moves to be made inside but we're just waiting for the next big move we're looking for clues as to what's gonna happen but so far I mean you can see basically the 377 and the 528 have been I mean they've been getting touched by all these wicks so I would expect that's our next target. Is It's going to come down here and touch one of these two moving averages. And I suspect since we haven't touched the 89 yet. But I mean it may be, you know, if it's 8 hours from now, we could come in basically in that candle and touch both of them at the same time right here in 8900. So we're just keeping our eye around that range. But it looks like we're at least going to get a test down here. Um, we'll see how this closes though. At 4 a.m. we'll get the close. If we're below where we're at right now, like 82.50. You know, we're basically going to get the close uh, and then the open of the next candle below the 21 on the 4-hour. So that's what give us the test down. If we close above it again, we could get the move up. We could take out the parabolic star at 9,600, turn the screen, and then can get continuation to the upside. So, But again, we're just looking for strength right now, uh, waiting for a pattern to develop. But we're essentially just, we just have this range right now that we're essentially consolidating inside of. So... Uh, there we have it. Just quick, quick update on uh, on Coinbase Bitcoin chart. Crypto Trend Trader signing off.